Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of addition, specifically how we can use compensation or the relationship between addition and subtraction to add numbers and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's take a look at this simple problem here. 428 plus 333. What compensation says is that your two add-ins, in this case we've got our two numbers right here, 428, 333. You can redistribute numbers between those two as long as the total stays the same. And you can redistribute the quantities within those two numbers to make it easier to add. Right now, if I were to do 428, 333, I might be able to do it mentally, but I know I'm going to have to regroup because I've got an 8 and a 3 in the ones place in each digit, so I'm going to have to regroup at least once. But what if I were to do this? My 28 is really close to 30. So what if I were to take just a few away from 333? I'm going to take two away. So I took two away from 333, and I made it 331. And in my brain, what I did is I just added that to my 428. Because I know 428 is two away from a multiple of 10. Now 100, 430 and 331. That's easier for me to add side to side if I wanted to do it really quick. Because as you can see, I'm not going to have to regroup anything. 400 and 300 is 700. 30 and 30 is 60. And 0 and 1 is 1. 761. Now, let's do it the old-fashioned way just to make sure we didn't mess anything up. 428 plus 333. And if you wanted to line it up like this, you could do it. 8 plus 3 is 11. 1 and 2 is 3, 3 and 3 is 6, and 4 and 3 is 7. So compensation says you can kind of rearrange the quantity between uh, one or both of the add-ins to make it a little bit easier to add mentally, as long as you don't get rid of any of the quantity or if you add any additional quantity. That's going to change your sum. I just shifted it a little bit from this 333 over to my 428. Let's look at a different example. So this time I've got three two-digit numbers, 37, 18, and 96. I want to add them all together. And I want to try to do it mentally. So let me show you how we can use compensation to do, add this mentally. What I'm looking for are numbers that are close to the next 10. And actually, all three of them are pretty close. But this 96 right here is awfully close to 100. And I like adding with just a 100 because that's going to be simple. But I'm just going to put a 1 in the hundreds place. So since my 18 is also close, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from my 37. And I'm going to first take 4 away from here. So that's going to have to be 33. So we're going to have to subtract that in our brains. If I add that 4 over here to my 96, now I've got 100. That's easy. While I'm at it, let me just go ahead and take another 2 away. I'm going to add that to my 18. And now I've got something that I can add mentally. 31 and 21 is 51. Add to 100 is 151. That's how compensation works. Let's, once again, line it up the old-fashioned way to make sure we didn't do anything incorrectly. So 7 and 8, that's going to be 15. Add another 6, that's going to be 21. We're going to carry that 2. 2 and 3 is 5. And that's going to be 6, and that's going to be 9 more is 15, so 151. So that's, once again, how compensation works. Now it's time for you to try. We have 297 plus 120. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can add this mentally. When you're done, unpause the video and see if your strategy matches mine. There's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, one thing that you should probably notice is that 297 is awfully close to 300. If we could just take 3 from our 120, make that into 117, then this 297 becomes 300 and that becomes really simple. 300 plus 117 is going to be 417. Or if you wanted to, you could have done something different. You could have said your 120, even though it's not really close, you could have taken 80 away from the 219. So you could have taken 80 away from the, two the 297 and turned it into 217, because now your 120 would be 200. And guess what? You still get the same answer, 417. 